Thank you, Chip. The Alliance for Nuclear Responsibility has sort of a different perspective on the Stong steam generator cases and nuclear power in general. For almost eight years, we have been responsible for looking very carefully at the economics and the reliability of aging nuclear power plants. We are focused on state issues, and the state's jurisdiction, jurisdictional agencies, are located in San Francisco and Sacramento. And the Alliance has not missed a single meeting when it comes to these aging plants, and which should we be relying on this cost in the future. There are three very important people here tonight. One, I'd like to thank Elmo for bringing the other two together tonight. This is the first opportunity since the Energy Commission brought all acronym agencies together. That would be FEMA, Department of Energy, Nuclear Regulatory Commission, and every acronym agency you can think of in California. And since that time, we haven't all been together at the same table at the same time. So I'd like to thank Elmo very much for bringing us all together. <laughs> this man sort of understated his agency. The California Energy Commission since 2005 has been looking into the cost, the benefits, and the risks of continued reliance on aging nuclear power plants. They were the first to recommend that the state do updated studies on those issues. And they have been a very important agency in keeping their sister agencies feet to the fire when discussing this. But this is the agency since 2005 that's actually tried to address what does the state's power look like in the future with and without nuclear. Let's be responsible in our investments. And this man right here, Ed Randolph. Ed was the chief of staff of an assemblyman in Sacramento, Lloyd Levine, who co-authored the bill that mandated the cost, benefit, and risk analysis that the Energy Commission recommended. Ed is now at the Public Utilities Commission, but I don't want to blame him for this inaction. He's only been there for about a year. And the infrastructure at the Public Utilities Commission does need some work. I think Ed will be part of that new process, and he will be very good at that new process, and I'm glad he's here to listen to the public tonight. The public is here to listen to other things besides what's wrong with the steam generators, and that is what it's going to cost to replace, repair, and provide energy while these steam generators aren't working. Edison tells us that they've had 1,700 inspections, and they have worldwide experts. The NRC tells us they've got an augmented inspection team. Where were all those people before they approved these steam generators the first time around? They're all here now, but who's going to pay for this? I'll tell you right now that the Alliance for Nuclear Responsibility's position is not a penny more from us. If Edison wants to restart these steam generators, their shareholders can pay for it. If they want to replace them, the shareholders can pay for it. If they continue to lay off workers, their shareholders will be responsible well, for this, not the state. If you think the steam generators are the only costs coming at you on nuclear power, you are wrong. We have the alternatives to once through cooling. Could be about a billion dollars. We have emergency planning that may be expanded. What's that going to cost? We have on-site storage of radioactive waste that the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and the Department of Energy and the federal government promised would be somewhere else. It's not going anywhere else. We are the ratepayers of California, and we are tired of paying for Edison's mistakes. SDG&E. SDG&E didn't want to replace these steam generators. We sat down with SDG&E, and they drew us a little graph in 2005 and showed us how these old steam generators would have worked till the end of the current license, 2022. I'm not sure if they're right or wrong, but what I do know is the new ones lasted less than two years. We've had enough. This is the check that we wrote and presented to the California Energy Commission in 2005. 
It's about what we paid so far for the steam generator fiasco. We believe that the workers want to keep this plant safe. We believe that Edison wants to keep this plant running. But we believe that the ratepayers aren't paying a penny more. That is our message to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, to the Public Utilities Commission, and to everyone out here tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Rich. Okay, Don, are you are you ready?